last night, once I got off the air that started making the rounds, was the announcement that KISS has an opening act for the next very lengthy leg of their never-ending farewell tour. Previously, KISS has had no opening act. The opening act has been a painter. A guy, an artist that comes out and I've not seen it, but paints a photo or something of the audience and the venue. And then that photo is auctioned off. And I believe it's for charity. So that's a good cause. But they have not had an opening act for the most part, except for this artist. Well, they do now have an opening act that has been announced and popped up on a bunch of ad mats last night and has now been confirmed on his own website. And this is somewhat surprising, but the, the, the opening act on the next run of Kiss Dates in North America is going to be none other than David Lee Roth. And that... uh what does that tell us? Well, it tells us a few things. First of all, on the David Lee Roth side of the equation, it tells us that Dave really wants to work. It tells us that Dave is not just doing these Vegas dates, that this residency at the House of Blues, which is coming up very, very soon, is uh, just really the launching pad for Dave really, really getting back out there. Because he's also announced on a couple of the Danny Wimmer Presents festivals. I think he's on at least one or two in the massive amount of bands listed. There, you know, David Lee Roth's name is in there. He's on Epicenter. So there you go, North Carolina. I did that last year. So it tells you that Dave is very, you know, adamant and confident that he wants to get out and really work and really tour. And none of this is about new music. You know, I heard, I went through my my uh, listener emails earlier today, and there were a number of people that hit me and said, you know, talking about the Motley Leopard tour, and like, you know, none of these bands do new music. It's going to be the same songs they played a million times, delivered the same way. I, I want something new and fresh. Folks, while I appreciate where you're coming from with that and agree to some degree, nobody is buying or listening to new music outside of the 5% of that artist's most hardcore fans. Nobody. New music is not a driver in any way, shape, or form when you are dealing with essentially what is a classic rock tour. Nobody is going to any of those shows wanting to or hoping to hear new music. The criticism is valid, but if you think about it, Motley put out a few new songs around the Dirt soundtrack. Leopard did a really good new album, but that's probably four or five years ago already. Poison hasn't done new music in ages. But it doesn't matter. That's not what it's ever been about. New music is often the tune-out and drives people away. I'm not saying I wish I, I like this that this is the case, but it's if we're being honest, it's the case. Absolutely the case. So Roth, who seemingly has a new record done that John Five did with him ten years ago, but who knows if that's ever coming out, is gonna go out and play old Van Halen songs. And it shows that it, it, it once again reinforces that there is absolutely nothing happening with Van Halen and nothing even in the works for Van Halen. Which really sucks. Or Van Halen has something in the works and it's not with David Lee Roth singing. But I, I don't think that's the case either. Unfortunately, I just think Van Halen is completely dormant, which Dave himself said in some interviews. So it tells you that Roth is absolutely ready, willing, and able, and wanting to work, and work extensively. Whether it leads to him putting something else out, uh, something new at some point, we don't know. And it also screams of the fact, we've known all along, that Van Halen is an absolute 
unfortunately, for reasons unknown, because they don't talk, a complete dead issue. David Lee Roth said in past interviews that he, he basically reading between the lines, he's given up on Van Halen doing anything. He is taking ownership of the Van Halen music he created, and he's going out there, and if you want to see it done live, that's the only way you're going to see it. Now, we still don't know definitively, I don't think, who's in David Lee Roth's band. Ed, does his website list the band members? I don't know, but when it comes to him, remember, subject to change. Card yeah. subject to change. Let me take yeah. a look. That while Ed looks, that video that leaked out of, of uh, Dave's rehearsal that I was uninvited to, <laughs> you don't know that story. Dave did a rehearsal at SIR that he invited people to, or somebody invited people to in LA. I was in LA. Tom Morello was going. Tom invited me to go with him. I said to Tom, you better make sure they know you're bringing me. He said, just get in the car. Who, they're, nobody's going to care. And sure enough, five minutes later, Tom called me back. Uh, you're right. You can't come. <laughs> because I'm media. And I might tell the truth about what I see or hear. So I, uh, but Tom went and all Tom, <laughs> all Tom has ever told me as my, I've asked him privately, publicly about how it was, was I think the one word answer, fascinating or interesting or something like that. That's all he's ever said. That's all anyone has ever said about it. That was actually in the room. So I, I'm not sure what's going on there. I'm not sure who's in the band, but I believe the band lineup has changed already from that one rehearsal, and I think they've made some changes. Ed, does it say who's in the band? I can't find All right. any listing of who's in the band. His website is a video, I assume, taken at that rehearsal of him gyrating on stage with some <laughs> random guys behind him. <laughs> Well, there were two guitar players. We know that. Um, but I've heard that band has changed, as Ed alluded to uh, or, or said. There's nothing on the website. But I've heard the band has changed since that one thing that some video came out from. So we'll see. We'll see how the band is. I mean, obviously, you're playing classic Van Halen. You better have a hell of a guitar player, right? And you better have a really good band to deliver those songs the way people want to hear them. Do you think he would bring in a ringer? No, I don't think he's bringing in any name guys, because if it was anyone of any name value, we would have heard about it. They would have publicized it. I mean, if they were bringing in a, a John Five or a uh, Steve Vai or whatever, I mean, we, that would have been publicized. I, quite frankly, I don't think he wants to pay a name person. Don't get me wrong. You can throw a stone in L.A. and find a kid who can play Van Halen note for note. Go to Guitar Center. You'll find a million of them he if you want to go down that route. He can find one of those eight-year-old kids on YouTube that recreates yeah. Eruption. And that's not diminishing the, the, the how tough it is to play Van Halen at all. It's just that there's tons of people that learn that stuff, and you can go on YouTube and see a million of them playing Van Halen licks. So you can, he can easily find an unknown that I'm sure will do a fine job. You know who he should get? He should get the guy that's in uh, um, the, the Van Halen, uh, oh, my God, uh, the Atomic Punks. I forget that guy's name. He's great. They should get, he should get him. That's the best Van Halen tribute I've ever seen. Oh, you know what he would he should he should pull what Prince did in his final years, have an all girl backing band. Look, we're dealing with David Lee Roth, so anything is possible here. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest, anything's possible. It could be good, it could be bad, it could be average. Uh, a lot is on Dave. How is Dave going to be? You know, what what's Dave, you know, what's Dave got left? Physically, Dave's in great shape. We know that vocally, that's a huge question mark. You've got a, You've now got a tour with both lead singers, huge question marks about their vocal ability. Although the one in the headlining band has uh, allegedly has been getting some electronic help. Allegedly. 
hey, at least with Dave, you know those vocals are real and yeah, organic. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know, I wonder if Dave does that. Like, if, you know, if Dave turns around and looks at the headline, like, hey, man, we're – you're not doing let, let me get some of that track action <laughs> so imagine if you're out there doing it i've talked about that all the time at festivals every other band is singing to tracks or playing to tracks 